Hi everybody, welcome to Stuff Behind the Wheels. This is Ali, and yeah, this is another third episode actually. And I'm so happy. I mean, yesterday I had like 15 views, now it's 30. It's going great. It's actually my bad. I, I will always upload at so late time. And this is the only way I can do it. It's taking so long to put all together the three videos. So in GoPro, I thought like I'm taking just like one video and once, right? So it turns out it's there is like three video. It, it make only eight minutes video. So I have to put them all together. You know, I have to edit them. And that, that takes time. That takes at least a couple hours and yeah. There is nothing I can do, you know. It's it's all right. It's all right. Uh, every everything will be, uh, you know, in order in the time. Like not like maybe today, maybe tomorrow. I don't know. Next week, whatever. And yeah, and uh, yeah. So this is like long weekend today. And uh, streets are empty. I left home way too early. Way too early. I didn't know. Because yesterday it was so traffic that I, I it took me like one hour to get my destination. But like today, I thought it's gonna be the same thing. Ah, my dumb brain! I forgot it was a long weekend. This, this is, today is Friday, and this is a good good Friday, I guess they call. I I, I don't even know what it is. Um, yeah, and uh, and. Uh, like this weekend it's gonna be uh oh see highway it's closed yeah it's gonna take me time this weekend gonna be eastern weekend uh, this is long weekend and you know sunny day but it's still very very cold and yeah okay what we gonna talk about um we gonna talk about a oh, real estate a real estate yes so so as I mentioned in my first video, I have a condo. I just bought the condo in December. And I was doing Airbnb at the first. And did you know that in Toronto, uh, the buildings are not, if you are in a, like a big condo or building, they don't allow you to do short term rentals. I mean, that's crazy. It's like, see, it's my house. I pay for it like, I, I don't know, over like $600,000. And now, the management is telling me what, what to do or what to not do. That's crazy, man. It's my house. I pay in it. Anyway, so I have to rent it out. And this is like market here. Okay, so usually real estate is an awesome investment. You can make so much money with real estate, right? It's the best uh, invest, investment and guarantee investment that you can do. Okay, I understand. Some people like... Bitcoin some people like stocks and stuff but like real estate is the best way to do trust me it's the best way to make money and easiest way I mean I know I know the, like the prices are so high but the, the problem is okay say uh, you want to buy a house for four hundred thousand dollar right and you're looking in the market oh you find it in Tro I, I'm just talking about the Toronto like Toronto downtown area or even like in close by the GTA people like asking let's say four hundred thousand dollars right and you're you're looking to house you're saying you're real estate all right I want a house for four hundred thousand dollars so the, the real estate your agent looking for houses call this four hundred thousand dollars you say oh that's great let's go and check the house out so you go you check the house and you like it it's awesome you say look let's let's make it guarantee and let's make the deal as like it, it, usually how it's work you the seller tell you the price all right and you say the price you negotiate you meet in the middle right like let's say four hundred thousand dollars you say okay i pay you 370 or the order i cannot pay 370 and you like you should buy it for like 390 or 380 right so that's that's how how the like, business work actually but not in toronto let's say people put in a four hundred thousand dollar house they list it as four hundred thousand dollars right so that's four hundred thousand dollars mean actually 
he wants for five hundred thousand dollars like hundred thousand dollar more and you don't know until you do like it that that even happened to me a couple times like we wrote the offer we even gave let's say four hundred thousand dollar we gave like four hundred twenty even more and the answer we get oh we are looking for five hundred thousand dollars man if you're looking for four five hundred thousand dollars why would you put four hundred thousand dollars it's not gonna go up it should have go down and meet in the middle right this business working here is so weird real estate here is like just like i don't know it's kind of weird you cannot even negotiate like i mean the only negotiation that you can do you told your agent and your agent gonna talk to your buyer's agent no seller's agent i'm sorry and they negotiate each other and the price is crazy crazy range i mean ten to one hundred thousand dollar gap that, that's 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 crazy i mean that i don't know that's why people cannot buy houses here expectation is so high anyway we got the how we i got the i got my condo but like we they they were asking like like around like 500 and we had to pay like 600 around 600 i'm not gonna say the exact amount but yeah now i gotta pay mortgage for like 25 years 25 long years unless that i sell the house even let's say okay you bought the house that's great you make a profit like let's say it's hundred thousand dollar you made profit in like a, let's say two years you sell your house your house and you want to buy a new one right so when you try to buy a new one that the new one is much more expensive than you expected because that house going up too it's like hard to do a business here really I mean you have to have so much down payment to make some money out of it or the other day I heard that uh, you can buy a house let's say in far from here Kingston Hamilton or uh, I don't know Milton say uh, the house in the neighborhood around like $500 range right so you found the house as is like uh, not really good condition so like let's say three hundred thousand dollar or two hundred seventy two hundred ninety thousand that range you're gonna buy that house you're gonna renovate it and then you're gonna sell it that's the only way that you can make money out of it that's crazy crazy this is the only way that you can make money here surprisingly there's crazy traffic here i don't know what's going on you know what happens sometimes there is a police officer driving nearby the cars right so when they see police officer they scared to drive i mean uh, why why would you scare i mean if you go follow the rules no one gonna tell you nothing so then what happened is when you when you slow down in the front the others are slowing down too and that that makes traffic it's crazy right now and I wasn't expecting that. Look, I had to change my route. Could you excuse me for a second? Yep. Here we go. Yes. All right, 16 minutes. I'm cool with that. I gonna still be early, but it's much better than traffic. I hate traffic. Maybe because my car is manual, as I mentioned in my first video. And thanks, thanks. Any anybody who was who is watching my videos, it's like really appreciate it i know it's 30 people i know it's not a lot but i'm gonna upload every single day except on sundays though i don't i don't work on sundays i gonna rest or drink or have fun you know i never i never work on sundays it's a by principle so i will upload every every day uh let's see what's gonna happen i hope this channel grows like bigger and bigger so anyway, what I was talking about, uh, real estate, yeah. So like, yeah, real estate is like very, very good like investment, but you have to be very careful. Do your research, you know, like you have to, don't be shy to check every house is that you're thinking it's gonna be your house. And the most important thing, when you buy the house, 
you should you should always think can I live here can I live rest of my life in this house it doesn't matter if you're buying for investment it doesn't matter if you're buying for anything if you buy in a house condo or apartment whatever you're gonna buy you should first think okay is this house good enough for me to live in it if it answer hundred percent yes then you should you should purchase it that is so important so important you have to love it you have to believe in it for anything you do you have to believe in it you have to say all right hundred percent sure because this is like a lot of money you know see in Toronto I talk some people like 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 many times and and like they say the house prices were like so low before and now it's just going high and high and high because of the sky capers that being everywhere right now it just like it just like goes so high and like some people say like oh, okay it's I bought my first house when I was like 20 years old there is no way right now that you can buy any house by age of 20 years old unless you're like I don't know junior or something or, or I don't know like have rich family or like something like that you know it's impossible I mean like nothing impossible like but like 90% of age of like 25 and under cannot buy houses here I mean I'm what I mean by house it's like apartment condo anything the, the real estate it's like impossible crazy yeah and but look but there is always the way let's say you have like a like 50 40 60,000 oh. incoming call sorry guys uh, I had to cut the video someone just called me and I couldn't I had to take the, that call so here's the thing after that video that you're gonna watch right now I I already took two more videos after that the first one I got a call again and pff, it didn't go great and the third one I, I forgot to turn on the microphone and it was just like soundless and I, it was just like wasted like 20 15 minutes it's all right though you know things happen this is my only third video but uh, I just wanted to do outro and I'm in my garage I'm already home and this this is gonna be my end of the video and I will see you guys tomorrow please stay positive and love each other and I will see you tomorrow